And mama used to say, take your time, yo, man. Scurry, how y'all feeling, ladies and gentlemen? I ain't going front. I'm feeling good because we got another track from Baby G. The Nooney the Third and Baby G rap beef continues. A war in Brooklyn emerged with the 4 1 and 2 6 beef. And now it's trickling down to Baby G 4 1, Baby G Troopers. Troopers, baby G D away. It's a lot going on, ladies and gentlemen. Shaw G's and them just threw their hat into the ring. So let me know how y'all feel about what's going on on with on the side of Brooklyn. Feel what I'm saying on the music side of things. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's jump straight into this video and see what they gotta say, ladies and gentlemen. Join the Discord link in the description and let's go. I go live. Let's jump straight to it. Hold on, let me run it back. Really, troopers can't. Scared like a little white pussy. Scared of the real man. Troopers where I'm troopers can't. Man, y'all niggas ain't GDK. I bust y'all heads like a BOA and it's fuck y'all day. I know what I bet. This math ain't math and shit isn't fair. How Nooney a third, that nigga is square. Cunny a block. How Nooney a third, that nigga is square. Now, I asked y'all who is better lyrically, Baby G or K Liz, and y'all told me Baby G is worse than K Liz lyrically, but he's better lyrically when it comes to the dissing. Is that true, ladies and gentlemen? Do y'all agree with that sentiment? I feel like most of Baby G's music is a lot of diss tracks. I'm not going front, especially the recent stuff he's been dropping. But this nigga is nice, no? This nigga not nice. I go front, tough flows fire beat selection and he got the lyrics like i don't see how somebody could say baby g is bad i i'm not gonna lie maybe his voice and how he sounds but then again music is real subjective especially when it comes to something like that I heard KG whooped KG in the spot. Now, for those that don't know, we had 260R on the What New York City Sounds Like podcast, and he was basically saying how his little brother KG had punched KG, K Gliz while in jail. K Gliz. <laughs> I'm going to say K Jizz. What the fuck? Hey, yo. But apparently, 260R's little brother KG punched K Gliz while in jail. I don't know how true that is. Somebody also said that K Gliz actually admitted to that. And funny enough, on Thursday, we're going to be interviewing Kegliz, so we're going to see what he has to say, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't going to lie. We're about to see what he has to say on Thursday, so make sure I tune into What New York City Sounds Like YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified when that drops. You feel what I'm saying? Right now, we're rolling up the Sugar Hill D-Dot podcast. Go tune into that. But I'm not going to lie. This track might be tough. Who Pass me the rock. Clapping and girls like pass me the rock. I want to be. I ain't trying to get sturdy. I was like. Yo, who is he talking about, bro? That nigga talking about some she was sucking before the video started? Before? <laughs> Yo, wait, as soon? I'm. Can we run that back, please? No, for I just keep spinning, I'm looking for parking. They go hop out, shit's all bucking. Ayo, hey, Naj, I heard your sister got the wag too. You was sucking dick soon as the video started. I got to run in the family for you. You ain't know that she is sly. And her when you caught her. The jet was fucking on your mother daughter. Are you in the streets and she fucking the house? I guess that's something your father ain't told her. Y'all ain't no oh my God. He, yo, this little nigga is choking on these niggas crazy. I gonna let this little nigga talk like this. Get in the booth. Get in the booth. Get in the booth and talk that talk. Because I told y'all... Baby G did better than Nooney when it was the first round. It's round two right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's round two. The saga continues. Next episode of Primo Ball Z. Will Nooney the third top this track? I think think that this song is better. This is a better diss than Nooney's first diss as well. So right now, Baby G might be up 2-0. Nooney, you got to respond. I think it's Hoopers. Oh, Baby G, who better than me? Hey, Chris, get hit with a black ball hat. Now you got a reason to say. It's more hoe when these niggas on workmen Then the hoes that be working on workmen They be crying on love when we hurt them And these bums ain't come with a turban And these blinds just come with the curtain These jealous be running in churches He be running from London to Boulevard He been in the corner and he see us lurking Heard the truth, he helped with his brother hanging Outside it's more than a couple hanging And like a 
swinger is more than a and like a swinger is more than a couple bang. Hey, oh, nah, please don't commit any crime. Imagine if you get caught. Hey, oh, nah, you got the plea to the god. Imagine what you do in court. Hey, oh, why do I gotta set the record straight and put an end on the law? Hey, oh, why the top time hit the one on, but it looked like he was fighting foul. They want a dead shit for the. Now, as we know, Tata, Kegliz, and Nun the Third did fight it out, ladies and gentlemen. They are cool. The Troopers still said it's up for the rest of 4-1, but they're cool with Tata. But did this nigga Baby G just say the Troopers basically tried to jump this nigga and lost? He said it looked like it was a one versus five. Say that once more. Tried to play to the God. Imagine what you doing, Ayo, cool. why do I gotta set the record straight and put an end on the law? Ayo, why did Tata hit the one on, but it looked like he was fighting foul? They want a dead shit for the views. Let's put a dead crap on the news. Fuck a woo, nigga. I'm a boom, nigga. Baby G is like that. This nigga move, though. I bumped this nigga up in the rankings more and more, son. I gotta redo my top 10, bro, so I can bring it to the podcast. Because Baby G was 10. This nigga might be top 7 now. I'm not going to lie. The lyrics, the flows, the beat. Y'all are telling me Nooney has more intricate flows than Baby G, but are we listening to the flows on these this beat and the, first, the last beat we just listened to? These shit is way more intricate than Nooney's. I feel like Nooney has a formula he's been going with for a long time. I don't feel like niggas understand what the word intricate means. Like, the patterns on Baby G's rhymes, I feel like it's way more creative, yo. I'm not going front. I'm jacking this track. I'm jacking this track. I jacked this track. I jacked the last track he dropped. He's doing his thing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to lie. He's on an amazing run. Like I told y'all, when people have some things to say... In this drill situation, it inspires them. The 4126 beef inspired 26 and 41 to go crazy. The true place is inspiring this nigga to rap on better beats, have crazier flows, and he's giving us lyrics. He's been doing it consistently even without this situation, but now it's like banger, 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 banger. No stopping. Before it was banger, oh, it's not a bad song. Banger, oh, it's not a bad song. Banger, banger, oh, it's not a. The last three drops, I've jacked it. I'm not going front. Let me know how y'all feel about these tracks down below in the comments that Baby G has been dropping. Where do y'all rank Baby G in terms of the top 10? And who do y'all got winning right now? Noonie or Baby G? Noonie needs one more track, though, because I ain't going front. I got Baby G in the first round, and it's going to be a hard, hard time for him to surpass this uh new Baby G track. So let me know how you feel down below in the comments, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell down below to be notified every time I drop a new video. Man, I like what's going on. I can't front. I can't front. Keep grinding. And TTP, it's been your boy TTP Primo. I love y'all boys and I'm out. Stay safe.